Hi guys, RSG here from Pure Class 9 and today I'm shooting on my mobile phone because before making this video I uh, forgot to charge my camera. So just bear with me. Anyway, the interesting news is that as you've already guessed by the title of this video that the Galaxy Note 8 has a slim chance that it's going to be 1000 times faster than anything or any phone you've been used to thus far. And that's because you know how Samsung brought the first edge-to-edge -edge display with its Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. So news has it that Samsung is now working on something called the MRAM. Now MRAM stands for Magneto Resistant Random Access Memory. Now this is something which is absolutely new which Samsung is working on and this is in contrast to traditionally what we are used to which is the NAND flash which we've been used to in smartphones and other gadgets thus far. So the MRAM is working on this technology known as the spin torque transfer for read and write data. And the reason this is something we should really look forward to is because it's very low cost and it's very power efficient. And did I mention that it was almost a thousand times faster? Now the reason it is power efficient is because this uses very less power when it is active, when it is being used, and it uses absolutely no power when it is inactive. So really better battery, uh, like battery function because of how less power it's going to use. Now where do I see this being useful? Well, I think augmented reality and virtual reality how you know how immersive and heavy it's getting day by day and how we will be you know using these much more in the future so i think samsung is getting future ready and that's why they might just incorporate the m ram in the galaxy note 8 and uh, well that's where it's going to help apart from that the m ram is supposedly much more suited for the new 10 nanometer processors the chips which samsung is using in its phones right now now, the only downside is that Samsung is apparently having trouble with the production of the MRAM, but it's also said that it's going to overcome this very soon because we still have a lot of time left before the Galaxy Note 8 actually launches. So let's just hope that by the time it launches, Samsung is up and ready and it makes its way to the Galaxy Note 8. That's about it. It's a very minor news, but then again, having a phone which is a thousand times faster but yeah, I should mention one thing. I don't know how much of a difference we're going to be able to make. Like people who are using, who've already bought the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, I don't think they'll be buying the Galaxy Note 8. If someone even buys the Galaxy Note 8, even though they have the Galaxy S8, I don't think they'll find a huge difference in speed. But when using any sort of software or features which really uses or hogs a lot of RAM, that is where I think the game is going to be different for the Galaxy Note 8, if at all the MRAM makes its way to it. So as of now, Samsung is saying that the MRAM is going to be used in smart routers and smart speakers, but later on it's going to make its way to smartphones and let's hope that is the Galaxy Note 8. So yeah, that's the news. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. If you've hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you found it useful, do subscribe to PRCast9 for more such videos and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!